I'm gonna be making surprise appearances and all of these things, okay? <laughs> I just want you to understand that. I'm crying. Okay. Woo woo. Woo woo. Uh, Miss Monet here and today I'm back with another video and for today's video I'm gonna tell you a story time now I, I this is an interesting story time by the name of the title you already know what this is about it's about my crazy neighbor I'll tell you about the time my crazy neighbor popped my car tire so if you want to know what happens keep watching but before you start make sure you hit hit smack Smack, smash, whatever you gotta do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 400 and then on the way to, to 1K. Be part of the Monet Mob. We're the best mom out there, like I said before. And if you're not part of the Monet Mob, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? So, like I said, like this video, comment down below what you think I'm gonna talk about before we start. Let me know your thoughts. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so let me tell you. So August makes it a year since I moved to this house. So last year, August, we're in, we're in September now. Well, last year, August, um, we moved here, right? And mind you, we're getting excited to move. The neighborhood seem okay. Everything's all fine and dandy, right? Right? Wrong. <laughs> So, okay, so we're moving. We got a moving van to help move stuff from my aunt's house because we lived at my aunt's house at the time. So I we got a moving truck and we moved some things from the storage unit um, into the house, right? So we're moving things, we're moving things. And I, I remember it was a Friday night. It was a Friday night, right? So we're moving things in and out of the house. Um, we're driving back and forth from the storage unit so mind you like the we got the moving truck right in front of my house and then we got like other cars so there's no parking so i parked my car like on the grass parts of the neighborhood you know when there's like a on the street there's like the grass part everybody parks everybody knows to park on the grass part of the side of the street not in front of the driveway right so i parked in front of the grass part of the street okay Keep that in mind, guys, okay? So now we're moving everything. It's getting late. It's time to um, bring the moving truck back. And yeah, so we're getting ready to do that, right? Now my brother is driving the moving truck. And like he noticed something, like somebody like at my car. I'm like, I don't pay, I don't really pay any mind because I was about to drive my mom's car. But like I see they're like near my car, right? My neighbors, apparently, my neighbors. So I go over there and I'm trying, and I see like the first, I see a police officer, and I guess the police officer leaves, right? So I come over and I'm getting my car, and my brother, my brother gets out the moving van. He's like, "Is everything okay?" He said, "Nah, not everything's not okay. This car is blocking the my driveway. My girlfriend can't even come in and park into my driveway." And I'm like, "What?" Bro, what are you talking about, man? So much space, and your girlfriend can't park into your driveway? Like, if you, ugh, I have to like show y'all what the driveway, the driveway can fit about two cars. And I parked, I guess I parked like, okay, so you know how the driveways will have like the little, that it's like straight like this, and then it, it kinda like spreads out like that at the end, like uh, on the street, right? So my car was on that little end corner, like the little, my, my little tiny bumper. My car is not even that big. My, my small car is on the, I guess in front of that and his girlfriend doesn't have the right mind to go and park into the driveway. Apparently I blocked the whole entire driveway and he had a problem with that, right? So he had the audacity to call the police. And mind you, all this is happening while I'm inside trying to move my, move things into my house. And like, he called the police and the police officer's like, yo, you just gotta call HOA. Like, there's nothing I could do at this point. 
And he's like, there's nothing you do. So this this man think since the police officer couldn't do nothing, he he wants to put it in his own hands, right? So like when Junior sees him like messing, like looking, like doing something with my car, right? He said, can you just move your car or whatever when I get there? So I said, fine, no problem. I'm like, yo, this guy is really serious. And like he said, I had to call the police because your, your car was blocking my driveway. My girlfriend couldn't park into the parking lot, the driveway or whatever, da 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 All this, all this nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. He's talking too much, talking too much, you're talking too much. You're talking too much, sir. You're talking nonsense right now. So I was like, fine, I'm going to move the car. Give me a second. Like, relax. It's not even a big deal. Anyways, so I walk, I drive to my car. I'm walking in my car. I, put, I start my car, and I see them looking at something at the ground. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm like, I wanted to ask them if everything was okay, cause the way they were looking at my car, it something didn't sit right with me, right? Something just didn't sit right. So, oh, so I, I don't pay any mind. We have to get this car to the, the, I mean, the moving truck back to the moving place, the U-Haul place. So I'm just ready to just move my car, pull up in my driveway, and then call it a day. So I moved my car that night, and I went and took my mom's car, and I followed them to the moving, no, I followed them to the U-Haul place to drop off the car and pick them up, right? So, the next day, I wake up for church. It is a good Saturday. Look, mind you, I'm seven-day Adventist, if you don't know. So I go to church on Saturdays. But it is a happy Sabbath, right? It is a happy Sabbath. I have a bed to sleep on. I woke up in a bed. I wasn't sleeping on an air mattress. We have most of our furniture in the house. It's a happy Sabbath. I'm getting ready for church. Everything's fine and dandy. We go outside to get in my car, only to find this. My tires, flat. Flatter than flat. Like, super flat. Like. I never seen anything like it. Super flat. And I'm like, I'm wondering like what what's what's going on? What's what's going on? I don't understand. I don't I'm not I'm not comprehending. My car, my tire was full of air. Now the air is gone. <laughs> it's disappeared. It's nowhere to be found. I don't understand. So my brother, my the first thing my brother thinks about is the guy then our neighbor and like he's my brother's like dang he popped he someone popped the tire i'm like you serious like you think so i'm like yeah it's somebody popped the tire because he had to change the tire um he put the spare tire on he put the spare tire on and took off the tire and we saw like like somebody like punctured my tire with like a knife or something right so now, now that I'm thinking about, like, now that we're seeing this, I'm, like, going back in my head. And I'm seeing the guys look. Junior, my brother said that he saw the guys fondling with my tires. Like, he's messing around with them. That's why he stopped everything he got out the vehicle, the, the moving van. So then he got out of the car and asked him if everything was all right. And, this, and he's so, f like, frazzled and frantic. Like, he's just angry because the police officers couldn't do nothing about it. Had I had known that he popped or put something through my tire, bro, since he wanted to call the police, let's call the police right back. Since you think you go pop people's tires, huh? That's what we're doing now. We're popping tires now, huh? And let's ask them why my tire's flat. Let's, how about that? How about that? But the thing is, it was already like, it was the next day. Like, everybody's in sleep. Police officers left. They probably forgot about the whole situation. I'm telling you, my brother, after he changed the tire and everything, we just sat in the car. We were about to get ready to go to church. But I was like, nah, I don't think we go to church. We just got to fix the tire. So we fixed the tire. But the first, before my brother fixed the tire, the first thing my brother does, he gets out the car and he walking. Right? I'm sitting on my phone. I'm sitting on my phone like, dang, like my my tires pop like. I'm hitting up my mom, whatever, whatever, whatever. I thought my brother went inside the house. No. My brother is, is nowhere to be found. He's not in the house. No, he's not in the house. And where else could he be? I see him knocking at the neighbor's door. I'm like, oh. I'm like, Junior, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you 
what are you doing? That's one thing that's trespassing. You don't ever step foot at a crazy person's door. So then my brother's knocking at the, the man's door. He's knocking, knocking. The guy don't want to come out of his house. None of that, right? So my brother went to the other guy's house. And I'm like, I remember because it was two, it was both our neighbors. That It was him. Okay, so he that the funny thing is he's four doors down. So the, the guy that's three doors down next to him, he was smoking with him outside that night when he saw him pop the tire. So we knock on he knocked on the door and no, and his wife come out and he's like, Hey, do you know anything about did you see that guy pop our tire last night or whatever? Like did you see anything suspicious? Cause her her husband was outside with him the whole time. She's like, no, I don't know anything about it. I'm like, oh, he's like, okay, bet, bet, bet. So then we not, so then we, our next, our next door neighbor, neighbors, um, they're sweet, adorable people. But like she was telling, we was, we were telling them the situation about how our part, our tire got popped by that guy, and then she's like, oh, um, I, I, let me give him his name. His name, I forgot his name to be honest. I'm gonna call him R. I'm gonna call him R. So. Um, my neighbor's like, oh, are you sure? Like, we know R is crazy, but we didn't think he was that crazy. You knew he was crazy, but you didn't think he was that crazy. Do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? <laughs> you did. You knew he was crazy, but you didn't think that he was that crazy. That's crazy. So, so he's known for doing crazy stuff like this. It's not it's not the first time so at this point I'm telling my mom what happened I'm asking like what should we do should we call the police mom said don't call the police what? said don't call the police I was shook cuz like I was ready to put let somebody get charged for something cuz that's a whole new tire you're popping on my tire you pop my tire a good tire a tire that was not bothering anybody but you felt the need to put, who to take things into your own hands and pop my tire. Had I had stopped and looked to see what they were looking at, they were looking at my tire inflating as I was driving to my house to park it in my driveway. That's what they were looking at. Had I had known, I would have called the police back up. Called them back, called the police back. Let them know what you did to my tire, sir. Let them know about that. Maybe they'll do something about that situation since you were being petty about this whole thing. Bruh. So then my dad, we told my dad about the situation and how my brother went and knocked on the doors. My dad's like, one thing you never do because people are crazy out here. You never knock at a crazy person's house. You don't know. You can't do anything because it's their territory. So at that point, you can't really do anything. So lesson, I learned a lot of things. Never to park in front of that guy's house. And to this day, I never see him like leave his house. Like every time I come home, his car is in the driveway, but I never see him. And whenever he and whenever his car is missing, like I never re-encountered him. But bruh. People are sick, man. Absolutely sick. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you guys want more story times, let me know because I have plenty of stories. I still have to tell you guys about the time where I almost failed my chemistry class. Bruh, that was an emotional story, I gotta tell y'all. But before you go, make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Like that. Subscribe if you haven't already and join the Monet Mob because we're the best mob out there. Period. <laughs> and, oh, guess what? So I'm going to do a post notification shout out because there's this one person that actually has their post notifications on. And as soon as, I'm tell you, I'm, it don't matter what time of day I post or upload, first person to like and comment. I want to give a post notification shout out to to Il. His name is Il. 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 <laughs> His name is Il. Um, I posted it right here or something. I don't know. But 
Thank you for having your post notification shoutouts. You are the best loyal supporter. I love you. Thank you for being the first one. I'm talking about I post at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And likes and comments right on the spot. First person. So if you guys want to be in the next post notification shout out, have your post notifications on and click that bell and give it a big ring a ding ding. And with that, I'll see you guys when I see you guys.